Hey guys, just a really quick and random uh, video. Uh, we're going to play like, I don't know, an hour or so, I guess, of Starfield. I'm just going to throw this video up as a spare extra because as some of you guys may know, Bethesda RPGs are like my favorite games of all time. And I've played like the first opening uh, of this game. Uh, I played it on my Series S and yeah, you know, for a little, the little machine that could, it was fine. I mean, it's 30 FPS, which is a, a little bit stinky. But, you know, I'd rather have 30 FPS than 0 FPS, so there's that. I've played it a little bit on my Series X as well, and, uh, you know, it's about the same. It does look a little bit crispier. Um, you know, it's fine. So far, my opinion of this game... It's what I expected. It's a Bethesda RPG with a space wrapping. And it's fucking delicious, if you ask me. Um, so, we're playing it on my PC. We're playing Ultra. We've, we're on 100 F uh, 120 FPS. We're, we're loving life right now. Um, so, let's just like do the first mission or so. So, I've got to like infiltrate this base. Um, and shoot some like space pirates in the brain, which is cool. I've had a little walk around my ship. This is Vasco. He's my buddy. He's a robot, by the way, which is pretty cool. Um, not really 100% sure what's going on. We found like this really cool, like mystical, like artifact thing. That was fun to play with. Uh, gave us like a bit of a nightmare, and now we're being indoctrinated into. Um, some kind of secret society of space explorers. Uh, if I'm going to be a little bit honest, a little bit nitpicky, um, from starting the game to getting your first ship and being thrown into the uh, main story happened a little bit fast. Uh, they could have drawn that out a little bit, but, you know, whatever. I'm, I'm having a good time. The weapons, though, I've only played with three of them, and good lord... <laughs> they're chunky, they're juicy, they're animated. Oh, hello. What the fuck is that? Evening. So, I've done some exploring on this planet and I've given myself lung disease. That was fun. I've still got lung dis uh, disease. Uh, I am apparently recovering from lung disease now. Maybe there's a way. Impact driver. Don't need that. Um, and this is another thing I love about uh, Bethesda games. All this shit that's just everywhere that you can fondle and fiddle and play with. Um, visually, like, people were moaning about this game graphically. I think it looks fucking fantastic. I really do. It's gorgeous. Is it going to blow your socks off? No. But, you know, it does the job. Anyway, let's keep going. What have we got here? Workplace safety. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm coughing my guts up because I've got lung disease. Uh, I don't actually know how I got lung disease. I think it was something to do with walking around um, the planet with uh, insufficient uh, breathing apparatus. My life, chunk by chunk. I was very young. Oh, that, uh, <laughs> that just instantly brings me into colony wars. I was very young. Only seven years old when I realized humans are animals. Smart animals, sure, but still animals. You give us food, we'll eat it. We want it to taste good, and we want it to stop our hunger. Those two things, that's what's most important. After that, sure, some people want their food to be really healthy, as the experts say, and some want it to be pretty. But most people, they just want to cram something into their face, and that's when the concept of chunks was born. So begins a 120-page autobiography of Fred Blombert, founder of the Chunks food franchise. Yeah, chunks is like a thing. There's like this chunk food everywhere, and it's like little cubes. Um, if we go into my inventory, ah, uh, still learning all this stuff. I've heard some people complain about the uh, inventory. Uh, I think I'm kind of, it's, it's, it's okay, but yeah. It, Definitely could have been better. So we can go mining and harvest resources and stuff, which is fun. I think chunk. Yeah, look at this. Chunks vacuum packed. Everything is vacuum packed because we're in space. There we go. Chunks apple. Apple flavored chunks food cube. Okay. 
Okay, we got these medi things. I kind of like the artistic direction of this game. Uh, Bethesda are calling it um, NASA Punk. I I wish they had kind of gone a little bit more full on into realistic, like less of the CRT kind of chunky buttons sort of thing going on. But you know, it's fine. Um, and I'm loving all these water things. Like everything's really realistic. You know, art direction aside. And look at that. A bit. Oh, somebody moaned when I nicked this. By the way. Uh, he put it down on his plate after I fi after he finished taking a bite, and I just swiped it. Uh, he wasn't happy, but fuck that guy. A salami and cheese sandwich, clearly delicious, as evidenced by the large bite taken out of it. Now, as for the amount of stuff to do in this game, uh, I'm like an hour into it, and it's it's overwhelming, but in a good way. So let's keep exploring. I'm gonna really, really sink my teeth into this one. Um, we've got containers, we've got ratchets. No clanks yet, though. But I'm sure that will be later. Yeah, I was expecting it. Ooh, hello. He has some argon on him and a notebook. I guess we can't read the notebook. I have n Ooh, history of xenobiology. <laughs> Uh, I mean, read that if you want. I mean, I I like to read the books in Bethesda games, but I generally hoard a load of them, and then before I log off for the end of the day, I just read a few of them. Uh, we've got mass, which is the unit of weight, which, yeah, makes sense. What's in the lockers? All the searchable things as well. It, oh, genetic samples. I'm guessing there's something we can do. Um to get rid of our lung disease quicker, but it does seem to be healing on its own. Desktop organizer. Like, if we go into our inventory here and we go to health status. You have an affliction. Take the corresponding room. Oh, okay. This text thing didn't pop up before. Bethesda, am I right? Uh, go to your inventory and look for items in the aid category with icons that map. Right, okay. Well, I mean, yeah, that's simple enough. So, this was bad last time I looked at it. Lung damage, severe. Prognosis, good. Cough, sporadic O2 damage, and detection event. So yeah, I guess if you're sneaky sneaking around, and uh, some little goit bag um, hears you cough, you're gonna have a bad time. So let's see if we can't cure our lung damage. If we go to aid, so that there, I guess, I guess we need to find something with that symbol on it, but. Ah, right, here we go. So, treatment up here. Gotcha. So, that's treatment for drops. We don't know what that is. We guess that's bleeding. Heal paste. Um, yeah, okay. Well, I guess we don't have any lung injections. That's unfortunate. Maybe we need to get some new lungs or something. I don't know. Is that a possibility in this game? Maybe. This game controls very well. Hey, we've got some pirates. Uh, I'm having absolutely no issues playing it, but I've got a 4080 and um, a Radian. Why did I say Radian? I have an AMD um, 5800X 3D, so I would expect not to have too many issues. Chunks employ handbook. Ch okay, so Chunks is going to be a big thing in this universe. Soon after founding his breakout business, Chunks founder Fred Blobart personally wrote this, uh, the three-page employee handbook. Following is an excerpt from page two. It's like that saying, the customer is always right here at Chunks. If we know anything, uh, it is the expression, the customer is always right, is always wrong. Right? Right? Uh Okay, in this case, it's actually scientifically impossible for those customers to be right. They have no working knowledge of our state-of-the-art culinary facilities, and if they had the secret recipes to all of our delicious chunks flavors, then we'd be out of a job. Me included. Well, I mean, the guy's spitting facts, to be fair. Uh, also, this game has a New Game Plus feature in it, which goes up to 10 times, and every time 
Ooh, spiced worms. Every time you complete the game and go through a new go for a new game plus, the game radically changes. On, for instance, on new game plus nine. You can't save the game and it's instant death. Like, it's permadeath if you die, you have to start again. But on getting th all the way through to new game plus 10, again, as you know, completely optional stuff, you get loads of cool stuff. Apparently, the story's different each time as well. Ooh, evening. We got a spicy boy. We got a spicy boy. Get him, Vass. Oh. Get fucked, Lado. Oh, it feels good. It feels fine. Yeah, it's not Call of Duty. It's not Battlefield, but it does the job. It feels better than Fallout. But then, I never really had an issue with Fallout. I really liked Fallout, to be honest. E even Fallout 4, you know... I'll be the first to say it didn't go in the direction that I wanted it to. I'm collecting all these succulents, by the way, because I'm going to fill my ship with succulents. And there's not a damn thing you can do about it. So, yeah, even Fallout 4, uh, like I said, it didn't go in the direction that I wanted it to go into. But, you know, I had a good time with it. I really did. I did prefer Fallout 3. In fact... I kind of preferred Fallout 3 to New Vegas, but that's only because uh, I think New Vegas was really buggy and really clunky um, and had a couple of big roadblocks. Ooh, that's worth 280 credits. Is that a lot of credits? I don't know, but we're going to have it. So this is El Toileta. Ooh. I see we have some uh, reading material in the thunder box probably a good idea this milk that has been ultra pasteurized for maximum freshness i hope so because i don't know how long it's been sitting there you know i saw a video of somebody that can you can switch the toilet rolls around but that might have been a mod antibiotics on the toilet toilet antibiotics are the best captain Oh, Protocol. okay, we can talk to Vass, apparently. So apparently there are companions that you can, like, get into romantic relationships with and stuff like that. I don't really care about that kind of stuff, but, I mean... What the hell's a Terramorph? Ooh. Oh, I like that pirate. Wayland, is that you? <laughs> They're just watching it over and over again. Love it. Eggmund, desk assistant. Assistant. Well, we'll have a couple of those. I mean, we need to spruce up our captain's quarters, don't we? But then apparently the ship that we have at the moment, uh, it's on loan to us. It's not actually our ship. Now, I picked a couple of character traits as well. You can pick up to three of them. Uh, and they, they're they completely optional. You don't have to, you know, have them. One of my character traits is that I have a, a really nice, luxurious house on a moon somewhere, on a peaceful planet, I think they say. Um... I've never actually been to this house yet, obviously, never even seen it. But the drawbacks, so all of these traits have positives and drawbacks. They're, they're, they all do, all of them. There's no pure good or pure, ba uh, pure bad ones as of yet. Um, oh, we've got a computer. So, although I have this really nice luxury house on a moon somewhere, uh, I also have a mortgage on it that I have to pay every, uh, every week. Uh, I don't know what the repayments are, but the grand total... Ooh, battle meal. The grand total is like uh, 130,000 credits or something. I don't know if that's a lot of money, but we're going to find out. Uh, I also have another perk that uh, means somewhere on one of the settled worlds. It does tell you and all this lot. I have parents. And I could go and visit my parents and they cook me a home meal and stuff like that. I was like, okay. It's kind kinda of cool. Kind of kind of really cool. 
Uh, I don't know what the drawback to that one was. Um, fill in all open slots in every layer to open the lock. Select the key and rotate it until it lines up with the gaps. The security layer, blah, blah, blah. Okay, seems... All right. Okay. All right. Seems pretty... Pretty easy. Um, so I guess we can't change our pick, or can we? Can we change our pick? Because that ain't gonna fit anywhere, Chief. Um, auto slots B. Ah, right. So we can change our picks. All right. I. I quite like this system, actually. Um, right, okay. So, And you don't have to fill them in. You don't have to fill them all in, I guess. Uh, Re-entering. Ah, see, see, see. I, I get this. Yeah, so we bolt, we balls that up. But, to be fair, that's the first time I've... Ah, uh, you can't undo either. All right, that's fine. Yeah, so this is the first time I've actually seen this digi- Oh, there we go. Hang on. We're not fucked yet. So, we need a four-piece. Or we could use a two-piece. So, like, for instance, we can use that. There. And then we need a two-piece, which will be that one. Now, this is where things get a little bit more complicated. Alright. So we can use that. That looks about right, actually. Slot you in. Hey, Robert's your father's brother. So we get some ammo, some creds, med pack. Oh, sweet mother of Jesus. Yep. I have that one. Because that is definitely better than uh, mine. Because that's mine. No, where's mine? Oh, hello. I didn't even see we picked up that bad boy. I love the weapon design in this game. There's my Eon. So that does 10 physical damage. That does a lot more. Slower fire rate. Alright, that's fine. Let's favorite that one so B we'll have that replace that and this sweet merciful baby can go there let's try the laser weapon out shall we all right I like that so deck of cards so we've got a computer here that we can fiddle with as well Ooh. oh this is cool I will read this uh, off camera because there's a lot to read there. But if you guys want to have a read, obviously, help yourselves. Ooh, found the junk room. Got some heal paste. Ooh, fragmentation mines. Lovely. I don't know. Ooh, chunks chicken. Grilled chicken flavored chunks food cube. At eight. I do like me chicken. Vacuum tape. I get the feeling that that's just going to be useful because, you know, Fallout 4 kind of conditioned me to pick up. Ooh. Hello. You know, I've got a perk point that I haven't spent yet. Because when you spend perk points, stealth could be good. Adds a stealth meter. You're 25% more difficult to detect. So anyway, when you buy a skill, so to speak, um, before you can get the next skill in the um, in the list, you have to complete a challenge, which I don't know how I feel about that. I haven't played enough of it to, to say. Uh, usually I just... Do you know what I like? The best leveling system 
I'll be honest, was um, Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. You just get points that you put into something. I like that. I, I don't know how I feel about these systems. Didn't like Fallout 4's leveling system at all. Uh, let's get some stealth. We don't... Right, so, perform 10 sneak attacks at 8. Mm, sneak, sneak, sneak. Oh, look at the... Oh, I see. So... Not sure how. Okay. Yeah, that went pretty poorly. Not gonna lie. Come on, you little sneaky bastard. This guy. Oh, he went down pretty easy. Have I now? Well. I mean, if you say so, chump. Ooh, microscope. Sure. Sure we can find a use for that somewhere. Let's get the rifle out. A little bit of long range action. Who else is alive? There's still a few more people alive. Can see that. Hi, oh, evening, Chief. Didn't quite see you up there. And you. I do like the guns. I always like futuristic guns. I always have. I like the futuristic ballistic guns. I like the laser guns, the rail guns. Yep. Yeah, as far as I can understand, you get explosive weapons. You get laser weapons, and you get um, ballistic weapons, all with their own strengths and differences. Did you? Well, I was actually looking for you, son. Are you? Good luck with that. So, what exactly were they doing here? We may never know. Let's try a laser pistol. We were going to do that before I was rudely interrupted. You're Ah, oh, we're encumbered already. Yes, we can't actually hold that much stuff, can we? Sad face. Oh, well, we'll just have to grab all the succulents. I will most likely come back through and thoroughly loot this place. Oh, coffee mugs, yes. Uh, once I've done with this video. Ooh, vending machine. I'm guessing... Can we hack those? Like, if we get the right skill? Okay, so running whilst encumbered will quickly drain your oxygen. I don't mind that, because... You know, having the hard limit that we used to have... Ooh. Ooh, oh, ooh. Come to fucking daddy. Yum, yum, yum. Give me that laser rifle. Ah, oh, what the hell? There's so many weapons. This is something that I've seen in um, comments and things uh, and videos. The amount of weapons in this game is insane. And I'm down for that. Let's give this laser rifle a go. I have a huge amount of ammo for it, but that will change. Yeah. They were doing some funky voodoo here. Got some eggs. Out of the way, Vasco. Kind of stealing my thunder here, brother. I'll certainly take your money, though. Well, these scientists with loads of creds. Pharmaceutical lab. See, that we can do science and stuff in this game. Um... And you can put points into science and learn science whilst you're doing science. And you can become a cook and you can learn fancy recipes and stuff. There's, there's, there's a lot in this game. Um, which is good. Because I put an unholy amount of time into Skyrim and into Fallout.
nobody's getting through, you say. Well, alright. I think you're wrong, but who am I to disagree? I think we could use some meds. I can't remember what my heal button is. Uh, right, let's get some health going, shall we? Oh, we got some throwables. Fragmentation. I uh, see that's a mine, though. Uh, let's. Uh, I guess what we've got to do here, we've got to favorite it, I assume. Can tuck. Okay. Where's health? Injector. Oh! That treats reflection. Right! But we don't have any of those, so. Let's eat some eggs. Let's drink some milk. Oh, look at that. How cool is that? I suppose we just pack down a whole loaf of bread. Wash it down with some water. So if I go to med pack, and then I guess I go to B favorite, and... Oh, so it's zero. All right, cool, good to know. How's our health now? Still not great. There we go, sweet. Notebooks, lockers. Give me some bullets. Ah, oh, I can't leave the succulents behind. No siree. Hazmat suit. Sh sure. Hey, Earl Grey tea. Don't mind if I do. Don't think we need the digiframe though, do we? Or the cube. Oh, geez, something, something really did go a little bit nutty here. What the hell? You're gonna take me apart, is that right? How'd that work out for you, friend? Ooh, hello. Another one up there. Let's try this laser pistol out. Ooh, big bad boo. Oh, I like it. I love it. It just replaces the whole tube and everything. What is terrible? Are we not having fun? We should be having fun. Wait. Are they paying you at all? You're a pirate. Surely you only get what you uh, steal. Like the laser gun. That was cool. Let's try the big one. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that looks cool. What's that? Physical damage. Oh, like, already, like, we've barely been anywhere. I've got so many weapons. Right. Give me your goodies. I don't know what this heart plus is. I'm sure we will discover that as we keep going. Toxin. Common organic resource. This can be used as a component in crafting. Well, okay then. Well, I mean, that's a part of something. <laughs> a little biome thing. Cool. Uh, we don't need a cylinder, I don't think. Kidney dish, eh? Well, I mean, I'm not donating my kidneys anytime soon. But uh, each their own, I suppose. Okay. So much to explore and loot and look at. I love it. Ooh, science. Sealant. I guess we're going to need sealant. Especially when our ship gets a little bit leaky. Definitely enjoying getting all these credits. Notepad. I mean, I suppose a good thing about having to, um, you know, unlock or do challenges to unlock the next skill. I suppose it makes you learn how to use the skill in the best way possible. Um, and I guess if you're not... Oh, we ran out of O2. 
further exertion will cause CO2 buildup. That might have been how I damaged my lungs, maybe. Um, yeah, so... Oh, my meat is not going up. Now it is. Okay, cool. Right. Can't get water from there. You know, I'm... Ooh, digipix. I'm surprised that... Cred stick. Nice. Uh, emergency slate. The Terramorph is loose. We can't stop it. When, when we tried to sync with the neural control interface, it just completely flipped out. Broke through its containment chamber like it was made out of paper. It killed Michelson, Cobb, and Sumatri in all of one minute. I'm, I'm not even sure where it is now. It took off deeper into the facility. A, a security detail went in after it, but good friggin' luck. When I know it's safe, I'm going to make a run for the comm relay. Try to call in the cavalry. This is Hayden Wynn, lead xenobiologist. Wishing he had gone to dentist school like his parents wanted. Well, you didn't. And now you're dead. Probably. Yep, there he is. So I'm wondering if we're going to have to take this thing out. Probably. Going to have to do what the security detail couldn't. Okay. <laughs> the digipick didn't even appear there. That, I mean, that, that's fine. Uh, right. Let's get rid of you. And then you. That should work. Hey, I don't mind that system. It's fine. Got to be I'm detecting a safe nearby. We could make use of whatever is inside, provided you had some digi picks and a disregard for personal property rights. Well, good thing for us, my friend. I have both of those traits. We have digi picks. Oh, hello. I guess this thing's like having babies or something. Chunks Cola. Ooh. I guess they left some for us, huh? You're dead. We're all dead. The comms relay has been trashed. The whole room is trashed. We can't call for help. I can hear the terror morph roaring somewhere. And more people screaming. <laughs> Well, sorry, um, had to end like that for you, friend. Not feeling that one. I mean, that could work, but. That'll work. And then that one, potentially, yes. Potentially. Uh, so that one in there. And then that one, the other side. Alright. Get an amp. And some credits. Beagle tender encoded. Terrifying glimpse into the future. So, let's get up to the roof. Still haven't found this pirate guy that was supposed to shoot in the face. Come on, Vass. Let's go do some damage. The music is fantastic as well. Really enjoying that. Oh, they're giving us lots of uh, med kits. Science crate. Antiseptic mining space helmet. Alright. Credits, heart, reactive gauge, nutrients. Alright. Let's have a little peep at this. Helmet. Oh man, that really helps against airborne. Your suit is protecting you from environmental damage. This is good. 
hopefully we won't get lung damage again. I mean, no guarantees, right? Okay, your witch watch beeps faster you be kidding me. when your the suit runs out of protection. Has a new captain? You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? I'm with Constellation. I need... Uh, you need to stop attacking our ship. Um, yeah. Maybe your colleague Barrett didn't tell you, but there's a bit of a legend surrounding that ship. Uh-huh. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays, the loot from a hundred planets, and it's going to be ours. I... That statement is partially correct. Oh, okay. The frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. Yay for ants. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. Ah. Uh, there's no treasure on my ship. Cut your losses before me, more people get hurt. Let's try it. You're not talking us out of this score. To persuade a person, you need to make successful choices. Choices can range from kind words to distractions to threats. Each choice has a difficulty. The higher the difficulty, the greater your the chance the choice fails but the more points you'll earn when you succeed you have a limited number of choices you can make but you can never fail if your last choice succeeds okay I see I just made it past your entire crew you really want to try your luck against me hey if you want to trade ships that sounds good the frontier creaks when it turns anyway you have it wrong, the constellation is an explorer group. They aren't treasure hunters. I mean we might be able to do this. Don't give me nope. that. I know that ship is stocked with loot. The ship doesn't have anything. You're chasing a fairy tale. Hey, if you want to trade um so on. you got past a few rooks. Who cares? Hmm. You better make a decision or I'll make it for you. Not sure you can really back up all this tough talk. Well, we're gonna see. I've heard enough out of you. Kill them! Okay, so that new persuasion system's alright. Whoa, hello. Who's that? Some damage. Alright, you're done. Let's see if we can't waste. Oh no, they're escaping. Oh no 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 no. We don't we don't want any of that. No escaping in my house. Oh well, hello. God, I had a boost back. You have maxed out CA. Oh dear. Right, another one down. At least we get to attack their ship. Not looking like I held. Oh no, 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 no. Uh oh. This is going to be bad. And we're dead. Okay, so you've got kind of like a time limit to get onto their ship. Makes sense. I was wondering how that was going to play out. Right, let's get back to where we were. God damn it. You know what? I think we need some more points in the uh, laser rifle before we start using that. So. Let's use this bad boy. You gotta be kidding me. Fuck you, pal. Oh, this will be fair. And the have something of a history. They always assume he is a treasure. Alright, well he's dead. Alright, 
right, let's go see if we can't raid their ship. No mercy indeed, pirate scum. You should be getting none of that, so I can assure you. Right, come on, raid! Where are you going, sir? Uh oh. Reload. Come on, reload! Reload, damn you! This is gonna go poorly again, isn't it? <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. We're not dead yet. I say not dead yet. Uh, I mean, I don't know how much health we actually have. So, like, it says it like restores five health, but. What does that mean in real terms? 200 plus health, 200 plus 200 damage resistance? Well, let's pop one of them. There we go. Come on, can we actually change the magazine, please? No, it's getting away again. And we're getting our asses shot. Really wanted to get on that. Well, see you later. Well, you say we should be okay without interference now, but I'm not super convinced. Alright, let's let our CO2 come back for a minute. Yeah, it would have been nice to actually like charge in and raid that place. Possibly take that ship for ourselves, but... Maybe we're just underleveled for that. All right, let's go and scoop up everything else that's left over here. Oh, I see. So we have like a boost meter. Right, got ya. And we are extremely over encumbered right now. Yeah, just the simple act of moving is exhausting us, which isn't really where we want to be to be honest but that's okay we shall take all of our loot to where we need it to be can we quick travel whilst we're here back to our ship no carrying too much to fast travel son of a bitch all right so the ship is only over there. That's not too bad. Brogan is down. You know what? Let's just go for it. Now, I'm kind... Oh. Actually, we can use this guy. Yeah, don't take too much damage, dude. You're not out of there, are you? I don't know where you're running to, but I am going to shoot you in the back for the lols. Okay, let's get back to our ship and drop some stuff off. Because we've got like a loot thing on our ship. We've got a big loot container, which we can use, which we're going to use. Okay. Running whilst in cover. Yes, we know our oxygen is draining. It's fine. All right, let's have a breather here whilst we take in the, the view. So apparently, like, everything's accurately modelled on all of these planets, which is cool. So everything is in orbit and, you know, gravity has an effect and all that good stuff, which to me is freaking sweet. Oh, look, there's a little mantle ability. That's new. Never had that before in a Bethesda game. So I will be returning to this planet to start scanning everything anyway, because um, if you scan and find everything there is to find on a planet, you can sell that data and make creds. And that's exactly what we're going to do. I guess if we run out of oxygen, we black out. I don't really know how that works. Don't want to push my luck too much. We absolutely need to find a store to sell stuff. 
Don't we, Vass, old buddy? We need to sell loot. The ship is so close and yet so far. Ugh. Now, what I used to do on Skyrim is I had this really cool mod where you could make uh, backpacks and bandoliers and things and you could ridiculously increase your carrying capacity. Now I'm hoping someone's going to make a similar mod for this one. Anyway, back to our ship. Let's see if we can't drop stuff off. Captain, to reach the launch, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system and okay. then land in the city of New Atlantis. Yay! Don't worry, this will all become second nature before too long. I'm sure it will, my friend. Right, let's drop... Oh no. Oh, I forgot you. Ah, you can still give stuff to your friends. Excellent. Right, let's drop this stuff into the ship. Because we don't really. I mean, I'd rather have more protection, to be honest. More environmental protection, I think. So let's drop all that off into the ship. And. Hmm, a farming hat. Doesn't do much for us. Hazmat suit. That's quite good. Don't really need that though. Um Tritech lab outfit. Drop that off as well. So the cool thing about having all this stuff on your ship is you don't have to have it in your inventory. And when you land on a planet, you can get equipped and um change your loadout specifically for that planet. Which is really cool. But let's put that down for now. So we are way over our mass limit here. Which is to be expected, I guess. What do we have miscellaneous? Let's drop all these miscellaneous things off. Ah, right. This is the artifact. This is story-based. So for now... Uh, no, we want to keep the digipix on us. They don't weigh anything, which is good. Pretty sure in some old um, Bethesda games they actually did. Now, our ship actually has a weight limit as well, which obviously we can expand. All these cards on us. We don't need these. How many succ... We only have one succulent. Oh, right. There's different succulents. Oh, my. They're actually quite heavy as well. But that's a little bit better. So you can get really overweight before um, bad things happen, which is nice. Probably don't need 50,000 guns on us. We've got three of these. Right. Didn't realize we had three of those. We're going to keep... Nah, uh, we'll put one back. Don't need the Eon because we've got the upgraded one. Um, that I got from a pirate smuggler guy. And he's like, oh, hi, are you here to do the thing? And I'm like, I am most certainly here to do the thing, dude. And he's like, well, here's the thing that you need to do the thing with. I'm like, brilliant. I have no idea what he's talking about. But I will take the thing. Look at this motherfucker, Grendel. Put those back. We don't need all these weapons, like, because it's kind of crazy. Um, we don't need that. Exterminator don't need that. Modified Grendel? We'll keep the modified Grendel. Rescue Axe. We've got six Rescue Axes. Yeah. Probably only need that many. Uh, we don't need the Laser Pistol. Might get rid of the Maelstrom for the Grendel. Maelstrom? Well, it does less, but it's got higher capacity, more fire rate, more accuracy. Yeah, let's keep the Grendel. We'll drop the Maelstrom back. Wow, we've got 12 of them. Yeah, it's probably too many, to be honest. Um, okay. And let's... Well, right, okay, so we can't actually... That's fine. We've got three packs on us. 
get rid of those. Don't need all these notes, I don't think. Drop all these resources off. There we go. That's much better. Much better. Anywho, let's go take to the skies. We'll certainly be back here in time. Right, take off to space. I can't wait to start upgrading my ship and getting into new uh, weapon systems and all that good stuff. Right. Uh, sure. Ah. That was my package you stole, which means you owe credits or your life, your choice. I mean, to be fair, you can just have the thing. In all fairness, can I return the package? Too late. Client needed it by a certain date. Goods might as well be rotten. Only credits will do. Yeah. Well, it looks like you're gonna get uh, vaporized just then. Uh, now, how bad is this going to go? So, there is an optimal... There is an optimal engine speed. And this looks like this is going to go poorly. If you're going too fast, then... Uh, your ship's turn rate is actually uh, impacted massively. And this is the first time I've done space combat with a mouse and keyboard, and ooh, it's different. <laughs> it's certainly different. Right. Let's get this guy hammered with some... We're gone. <laughs> We're dusted. Right, so what I should have been doing is hitting him with all of my weapons, but I only know how to fire my lasers. Let's try that again, shall we? Because we've got a ballistic weapon, we've got missiles. Ah, uh, we've got to do that again. We've got ballistics, we've got missiles, we've got um, lasers. Whether there's more weapons, I don't know. I am not giving that jackass anything. He can kiss my metal ass. Or shiny metal ass, as Bender would say. Right, let's hit the save. Wait. Are we not gonna... Is he not gonna go for us again? So, ballistic is mouse 2. Missile is G. Mouse 1 is lasers. Oh, that's disappointing. I guess we only get to see him once. Unless he's gonna just be a random... Guy that turns up every now and again. So you can see our little speedometer here down on the left. Now, if we put maximum engine power in, you can see the ship gets really sluggish and hard to turn. But if you put it in the middle, that's your optimum turning distance, uh, turning speed. And yeah, there's a lot of physics and a lot of stuff going on with the old space uh, combat. And I'm kind of getting used to it. I'm I'm enjoying it. It's fun. But uh, there's a hell of a learning curve. Anyway, guys, I'm going to cut this off here. This was just a very quick look at Starfield. Will I do a full LP of this at one point? Uh, I don't know. Bethesda games are incredibly difficult to LP. Because there's so much filler. Um, there's so much exploration and stuff like that. It doesn't really make for an interesting video to watch, in my opinion. Um, that's... Well, I don't know. Uh, maybe you guys would like that. Um, the only other way of doing it is they would have to be extremely heavily edited videos uh, which would just take too much time for me but I don't know anyway guys let me know what you think I'm really enjoying this game till next time
Thanks for watching.